Welcome back to the Soccer We Trust. I'm Jimmy Trashcan Conrad here with Charlie Chuck Wagon Davies and Hollywood Heath Pierce. And I have to let everybody know that Paramount Plus is the only place to stream every minute of every Serie A match. Uh, you can quickly and easily sign up for your very own account right now with a free one month trial by going to ParamountPlus.com forward slash Italy. Just click the try it free button. Okay, it should be there and big and easy to see. And use promo code Italy for instant access to the best Italian club soccer slash couch of all time. And it's available across all of your devices. Visit <clears> Paramount Plus. <throat> Dot com forward slash Italy and start streaming today. All right, guys. Well, we talked about the Champions League recap. And uh, I see here in a little rundown that maybe we want to discuss my time at Leeds and me going to training. And I want to give a shout out to Jesse Marsh. Not only because now I, he's like, you could never criticize him anymore because he got you tickets to the he's game. Well, the no, room. for now, he's, Jimmy. He's in the room. But yeah, he's, he's, uh, <laughs> he's he, sitting he, behind the computer. For the, fir <laughs> for the first couple of months, Jimmy, he's going to get the free pass from you. But I'm just yeah. curious to see no, what, listen, spring, listen, what, it, what you're willing it's, to say. It's, less, you it's to, less about the tickets. That yeah. That is not what's going to endear him to me. It's the fact that I said, hey, is it cool if I come to training? He was open to it. And not only did I just get to like sit on the sideline and watch, he brought me into the video meeting. So I got to sit there and watch the whole breakdown of how they cover Barnsley and what they wanted to do. Uh, I got to speak to Brendan and Tyler, Jack Harrison, the guys that I knew. And that was very cool. They're welcome to come on the pod anytime. I think Jesse will come on as well at some point, which is very cool. So, so that part of it was, was I was thrilled with that just to be around to get the nuts yeah. and bolts to see how he's talking to his team, how he's talking to his staff, what they're trying to accomplish. And then I had the benefit of going to the game to see how they were executing on these ideas and it's really cool to see just how he's communicating and how, it's, for me, how that how that information is being absorbed by his players. Did it feel? Did it feel? Uh, did it feel like a British locker room? Did it feel like an American locker room? Like, uh, you well, know, it's definitely. I, a, I guess a trying British... to like. I, I'm trying to contextualize like what's the energy that he he's owning in there. Does it feel like you're in an MLS locker? No, I, I don't know what to, what to ask saying. this, but like, it, does it feel different? It, it like, felt it, foreign. It, did it feel foreign? Yeah. No, no, no. I think, I think when I, because I had asked a couple people uh, at the club, you know, how's Jesse doing? How's it going? What's the vibe like? And, and from what I understand, I'm getting more insight on Marcelo Bielsa. He was a bit heavy handed, a, a bit of a control freak, wanted to, you know, all that stuff. Not that Jesse isn't on top of his things in the same type of way, but it's how he approaches it. And I think they were ready to be done with Bielsa and that, that, like really lack of relationship with the coach. Mm -hmm. He kind of stood off to the side. It was hard to like get to know him. Whereas Jesse's very open and, and, and wants to get to know you and wants to, to not only help you become a better player, but also a better human being. And like, there's all these elements that come into it. And, and so I, I'm, I might be like tiptoeing into Ted Lasso stuff. And, hey, and, Jimmy, hey, hold, on, hold on, Charlie, real quick. Do you, do, doesn't it feel like a little bit like Jimmy feels threatened by your, your hosting where he's, he's starting to go on these experiences and then wants to be interviewed on these experiences. <laughs> yeah. You know, like he want, why does our host want to be interviewed on the things that he's doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? Why does no, guys, you guys I, want to talk about my experience there. Right? <laughs> it's in the rundown. I just want to tell you guys what I did. Keep so going. go ahead. Keep ask away guys. Ask away. Charlie, you're, you're on the driver's seat to, to host this thing, man. Jimmy, you know, no, He's not on the driver's seat. He's on yeah. the toilet seat. Okay. We've already gone <laughs> yeah. over this. He's like, so anyway, hey, this, anyway, this is the trash can I have. Like, <laughs> uh, Charlie, I picked the, I picked the, no, I picked the perfect time to go. Cause they had just beaten Chelsea and, and uh, Amazing, obviously, yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so, no, it was just, it was a really neat experience. And, and I, I, do have uh, I, I hope that, that you guys, if you come over here, he'll, he'll do the, he'd do the same for you guys. I mean, I, it's going to be real hurtful if, if Charlie and I try <laughs> and, and, and we don't get the same treatment. He's like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy already used it up. Uh, <laughs> but let me, let me ask you this guys. Cause we're on, we are on the topic of, uh, of champions league. Right. And we had Brendan Aronson and Tyler Adams both came from champions league clubs to go to a club that survived on the last day. Now, unbelievable start, but, are we all in the same boat that 38 games in the champions uh, in the Premier League is better than their previous situations? Or do we think that, you know, uh, Leipzig, I mean, they're different, Leipzig yeah. and, and, and Salzburg, but like coming from these places where they got to play Champions League and they got to play knockout rounds, which are hugely crucial in the development. But every game is going to be a Champions League game for Leeds in the Premier League. Well, you, you'll hear every player who comes from Champions League clubs, the biggest clubs that come to the Premier League, it's the expectation from week to week, the competition from week to week that from top to bottom is better than the scenarios that they were in before. Yes. You throw in Leeds United, not in champions league, but they're, they're playing Chelsea. They're playing United. They're playing Liverpool. They're playing Tottenham. They're playing Arsenal. They're playing the top teams and players in the world. That that's what you crave 
as as a player. You want to be in the best league, in the best competition. That's the English Premier League. And I don't think anyone's really going to doubt that. That's the, it's the best league in the world, and with the most intensity. And I think for for our national team, especially right now, we want to play with that intensity. We want to play on that high press game. It's all about the situation you're in as a as a, at a club. You're they're both coming to Leeds United in the Premier League with an American manager. Mm-hmm. That there's no for Tyler Adams. You already had a relationship with 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 uh, Jesse. You already played for him. So there's not a better scenario ever for a player to be in the top league with a with a team in the Premier League with a manager you play for. And for Brandon Aronson, the same thing. Yeah, Leeds was interested in in him before Jesse Marsh, but coming, you know you're going to have a little bit more of a connection to the manager. There's a little bit more of a belief. And with Jesse Marsh helping Bern Aronson grow and putting him in positions to succeed. And also you probably, your, your rope is a little bit longer with Jesse Marsh as opposed to um, uh, on any other manager. So I think for those two in particular, it's a, it's a dream scenario. Yeah, I agree with you. And I think that they understand that and they're trying to make the most of it. I, I think there is something when I spoke to both of the players, very briefly, there was an, an, an energy or there was a mention of the fact that they want to earn this on their own, not just because they were once coached by Jesse Marsh. You know, there's a, there's, a, there's a point of pride for them to go out there and kind of stand on their own two feet, knowing that they were going to probably get this opportunity, to your point, Charlie, because of Jesse, but now they had to go out there and prove it. And if they mm-hmm. didn't, that would be, it'd be a little bit of a sticky situation if they didn't live up to their billing. So there's, yeah, there's plenty right. of time. They got Brighton this weekend away. And that's going to be a tough game because Brighton also has gotten off to a good start with two wins and a draw just as Leeds has. But the buzz around the city was tremendous. I I will say at the League Cup game against Barnsley, they had 35,000 people for a a midweek game and everybody was just loving the team and obviously having a 3-1 win to back that up. Yeah, even Jesse came in afterwards and and where we were hanging out after the game and he just was like, I can't believe there were that many people there because I think they were expecting maybe half of that because the League Cup that early on. So everybody's feeling really good about it, and, and so, long may that continue. So when did the Ted Lasso connection come into play? For me? Oh, yeah. I've I, I become friends with Coach Beard, uh, the actor Brendan Hunt that plays Coach Beard last year okay. uh, at some point. And, uh, you know, as we do, we, we want to introduce ourselves. Yeah, we used to play a little bit or whatever. He's like, no, I was at your game. He went to the 2006 World Cup. That guy's a diehard fan. So I'm really looking forward to hanging out with him uh, tomorrow in particular. And, and you're going to get – at least you have to throw him like, hey, get, you got to come on the pod. For oh, I think, he, I think he will 100%. They're, nope. they're, I don't know where they are in their filming in terms of yeah. what part of the season. or the know, Last season, the right? Final season. It's, it's the last season, yeah. So I'll try to see if I can get some uh, some Ted Lasso, some gear or some they, kind of – How can they make it the last season if it's such a hit? I know, yeah. I know. I don't know. Go out Maybe on top. They, I don't, yeah, go out on top. It's Maybe like goal three, nice you know? But but if I can do something live from the Ted Lasso set tomorrow, I'll definitely make it happen. If not, you're stuck with these two guys, Charlie and Keith. Oh, All right, we're going to call yeah. it a show. In Soccer We Trust is done. 